Welcome everybody. This is Drowning Deaths and Forensic Evidence presented by Forensic Training Unlimited. I am Terry Armenta and I'm going to take you through this course and I'm so happy that you're here to take this course online and wherever you might be. And I can't be any more thrilled than to get my hands on you to start teaching you some forensic science, specifically this topic. Before we get started, I wanted to let you know or give you some information as to why I put this class together. Not too long ago, I was at a forensic conference and I had the privilege to review and observe a case that involved a seven-year-old who went missing after a birthday party. This birthday party was held uh, in a person's backyard and had a pool in it. After two days, the seven-year-old was found, and unfortunately, um, the seven-year-old was found in the pool and obviously died. So the investigation process and what happened, how come the seven-year-old didn't wasn't found by authorities, by the parents, by other people looking. What exactly happened in that case? And I started to wonder, not only the biological process happened in, uh, in this, this, this seven-year-old, how, how the body changes, but exactly what happened that caused the seven-year-old to drown. So I decided to put this case together, give you some case studies, and give you an overview of what happens in the process of drowning death and with the challenges that investigators face because of the water related scenes. So let's go into a little bit of course outline. I'm going to give you a little uh, brief introduction about me, uh, who I am, the objectives of this course, there are a few of those, definitions and terminology that you will be exposed to, biology of drowning, and what happens after drowning, that entire process. Investigative questions, and we'll go over why these types of questions, these probing questions, are so important in your investigation. Because sometimes the questions will differ from questions that are asked or probed uh, from on land or dry scenes. Pathology findings, you will be exposed to that, and the most common ones, but I caution you as we get into that particular element of the course, sometimes not all of the pathology scenes can be re related to a water depth. Water forensics, the challenges of what is faced when investigating these types of scenes, and throughout the course you'll be exposed to case studies. So I will caution you, there are some pictures that may be disturbing. So if you're viewing this course and there are uh, children around you or perhaps other people that may not understand what you're studying, please be mindful of that. So a little bit about me. There I am, Terry Armenta. I am the upper right hand corner, uh, excuse me, the upper left hand corner and the lower right hand corner. I've been a forensic educator and mentor for about uh, 15 years now, I have the, the privilege of teaching others. I work in a lab that deals with DNA. So that is my Monday through Friday job, if you will. But I'm passionate about forensics. I've been uh, taught by the best by LA County Corners. I have been able to speak to, for instance, uh, Dr. Thomas Noguchi. He's famously called the corner to the stars. Uh, I belong to a couple of uh, forensic, professional forensic organizations, uh, and I encourage all of you to do that as well. But the passion of forensic science for me is to bring this to you, to get you trained in whatever aspect you need to in order to propel your career forward. So we also offer, forensic training also offers Forensic Science Academy, which, which offers hands-on training for students who are looking for that additional training needed in order to apply for entry-level positions. So I'd like to say that we do it all. We're always open for suggestions, so if you do have a class in mind that you really want to see put together, you know, drop me a line and we can talk about it. But again, I try to get my hands on everybody that, that will listen and wants to be trained. And so my motto is, if you stay connected with us, you're, you're going to get trained. We have online classes and, of course, on-site classes. And again, I'm so happy that you're here. You're going to spend some time uh, with us and learning death um, 
by drowning. And I think you're going to learn a lot. And please take lots of notes. And again, if you have any questions, you can contact me and I'll give you all my information.